How are we going on YouTube? Hermy here with the next episode of the A to Z series, and we're going to be moving on in the Premier League up to Fulham. And I didn't mind Fulham, they're a little bit slow uh, in areas, but they're overall not too bad a team. If you use just a passing game uh, with their chemistry together, they play alright. So at the back, we've got Marks Watcher in goals, so representing the Australians, absolute beast. He's pretty solid in this game. Uh, 82 positioning is very good for a non rare, so he does very well, um, makes most saves. Does those really retarded taps over the bar when there's a chip and shit like that, like the the lower keepers do? But that's just how you gotta how you gotta deal with it. So the right back is gonna be Reza, the German, uh, fairly solid, uh, probably the quickest right back to Fulham have, and probably the strongest. So definitely fits in there. Probably the, one of the quickest players at the back here. Uh, Kieran Richards is pretty quick as well. Our two centre backs though, Aaron Hughes and Hangerland, are fairly slow, as you can see there. 54 pace for Hughes. Um, he's fairly solid for a silver though. So if you Looking for a silver non-rare player in the Premier League. Hughes isn't too bad, apart from his pace. Um, and then Hangerland is very solid. This is his inform card, 86 defending, as you can see there. So very, very solid. He's only slow, though, so... He's very tall, so his heading's going to be very, you know, very decent. 78, but he gets up for those headers. Uh, moving across, we've got Kieran Richardson up front. Uh, at the left back, sorry, not up front. And very solid pace, and good stats uh, all around going forward and backwards. So a very, very solid player. He's got a good hit on him. Um, so we'll move up, and we've got uh, Diara as our centre defensive mid. 80 defending there for a non-rare, so very, very solid. Sits in front of the back four and just, you know, helps him back there. Uh, 40 shooting, so it's not going to help you much up front, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, Damien Duff I was really impressed with. This guy has three-star skills, I think. Um, yeah, I think Berbatov's the only four-star skiller in this team. But, uh, yeah, three-star skills for Duff, and he's got a rocket of a hit on him. I scored some a couple of good cracking goals with him, so... Definitely one to try out if you're looking for a, a fairly solid right mid. Uh, Kieran Fry, I think he's only got three star skills. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had four star skills in FIFA 12. Good pace, good passing, um, better passing than 65, but uh, decent dribbling. And it uh, doesn't really shoot that well, but you know if you just want to use his pace bone off the wing, he can do that. And uh, Brian Ruiz, very very good dribbling, pretty strong on the ball. He's a fairly tall player, uh, fairly good um, power shot on his left foot, nice driven shot. Yeah, very slow, as you can see there. 68 pace, not the quickest. So we'll move up the park. We've got Petrich, very slow as well, but a decent hit on him as well. Three-star skills, and this is the main man, Berbatov. He's got four-star skills, and I think a three-star weak foot. Yep. And uh, slow as well, but he's got absolutely beastie stats there. So shooting, passing, dribbling, heading, all beastie. He's very good in the air. Hangerland and Berbatov both score lots of headers from corners, so if you're worried about that, they, they do get up in the air and score some goals. So we'll get on to the goals, and we'll talk a little bit more about the players then. Alrighty guys, here we go with the gameplay of the team, and we'll start off with talking about the team, and we'll start off at the back, and we've got Schwarzer in goals, and if you're looking for a good non-rare uh, Premier League keeper that goes for pretty cheap, definitely get a Schwarzer, and uh, he'll go for pretty much just above discard value, and he'll definitely do the job, and we'll go to the right back, and we've got Reetha, not as uh, strong as I might have thought he once was, uh, gets beaten a little bit too uh, easily going backwards, but he's okay going forwards, decent enough passing and stuff like that. And uh, the centre-backs, I conceded a lot of goals just from sheer uh, not having any pace. And watch this rocket from Damien Duff, near post. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, the centre-backs are just way too slow. Uh, having pace in the 50s is never going to help you in Ultimate Team. But uh, Hangerland in real life I love as a player. He's an absolute beast. And when you get Hangerland on the ball in this, uh, going anywhere near the tackles, he, he will make every tackle and he'll probably most likely, lay, uh, most likely lay out the player because he is just that big and just that strong. And uh, Richardson is a really, really, really good player. I wanted to use, I was tempted to use John Arnarisa just for his uh, his free kicks and his power, power shots, his long shots. But I ended up using Richardson just because that's who I'd use in real life. I'd like to stick to the guns about this. And uh, Diara, uh, he didn't really get involved too much. He, he had okay okay passing, which is really important coming out of the, the center of the, just in front of the back four. You need good passing around there because it's a very dangerous area to lose the ball. And uh, Duff, as you can see before, had a couple of rockets of a hits on him. A very, very good player, and uh, definitely a very good player to try out, and um, he's really good in real life, I love Duff in real life, and um, we'll get on to the left mid, we've got Kieran Fry, he's really weak, I thought he was going to be stronger, uh, he's pretty quick when you get going, you can get away from players, and I'm a little bit ashamed that he only has 3 star skills, but yeah, he's really, really weak, I expected him to be stronger, a little bit let down about that, but uh, we'll go up top, we got Brian Ruiz as the centre attacking mid, as I said before, a little bit slow, but if you're good with the, the dribbling, I'm more of a passing sort of type player and a, and a running up player. 
I don't really like to dribble past players too much. I like to pass around them. But uh, Brian Ruiz, if you're a good dribbler, uh, he's a very, very good player to have because he's very, very strong on the ball. And he's he keeps the ball real close to his feet. Good ball control. So he's definitely a good player to use if you are a dribbler. And then we've got Petrich up front. Not the quickest, but he has a rocket of a hit, as you would have just seen. And definitely a very, very good player in real life. And uh, Berbatov, the inform, is a very, very good card. I love his four-star skills. As I said before, if you were a dribbler, you will use him very well. And uh, just a, a very nice card in this in this uh, ultimate team. I like him in FIFA. And a uh, good hit on him, good finesse shots, and pretty good ball control for a, a big, sort of, lanky-ass, tall fella. But uh, he does very well. So that was Form. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Hermie, and peace.